Hello everybody, as you can tell, I'm working on my wizard. Yeah. Today I'm upgrading uh, my quad to Runcom Swift 2 with OSD. As you can tell, it's ready, nearly. All wires are connected and uh, it's ready to be tested, actually. As you can tell, uh, I've disoldered standard camera. Probably I'll reuse those uh, side plates, probably. But probably I'll need another screws for it. So I'll try to find those. And uh, yeah, it'll be golden. So, basically, how to do it, yeah? Because probably that's why you've clicked on my video. Runcam Swift 2, as you can tell, just to prove it. It's Runcam Swift 2. Model Swift 2. Okay, 2.5 millimeter lens. It's a uh, connections. Okay, so we've got positive, then it's black wire, minus, negative. Then we've got yellow, which is video out. White one, it's audio out. And then blue one, it's VBAT. So basically, it'll show up uh, how many volts we've got on our battery. All right. So what to do? So desolder those three wires from your standard camera, from your flight controller. So you need to take apart your quad a little bit. Take top plate off and side plates off and uh, those four plastic nuts which holding flight controller. Just lean it back on side a little bit. Watch out for those wires here, those white ones, because that's not pretty strong. and. Probably I'll add a little bit of hot glue there just to uh, keep them safe and uh, you know, make sure it's uh, connected right. So basically what you need to do is uh, take those three wires, uh, red one, red one, black one, and then yellow one, okay. And then the red uh, wire going in the middle, as you can tell. Try to keep it as sharp as possible for you. I'm fil filming with my phone, so. Okay, so plus positive is in the middle. Then we've got negative black wire next to it. And then on the right hand side, we've got yellow, which is showing VTX and its signal. Anyway, you can check on your board because it should be on the PDB. It's, uh, it's printed on PDB minus plus and VTX. So that's your VTX wire, signal wire basically. And uh, there'll be VBAT, VBAT, blue one, going to uh, your main. Uh, main positive uh, connection on your PDB. So it's the same wire as uh, from your XT60 connector, as you can tell. Yeah, it's going from XT60 and it's going here, right on in the middle of PDB. So I've soldered it and then I've added a little bit of hot glue on top just to make sure it's safe and uh, it's, the connection is strong and, and this wire not going anywhere. Okay, so we've got this one and then um, another wire is uh, audio. So your if you want to hear something, you need to do like this. White wire connected with uh, another white or any kind you want because on uh, this VTX, Ishin somehow decided to cut this wire off. Yeah. 
so uh, you, if you want audio on it then you need uh, of course VTX will transmit audio no problem but we need wires so I've got a few other VTX's and some wiring all old ones laying around so I managed to find a white wire with the same size of plug like uh, in this connector over here so I've just reinstalled it so I've got one white wire coming out it's connected in the middle here and uh, there is uh, some a little bit of shrink wrap around it green one just to make sure it's uh, isolated from everything and basically that's it that's all your connection connections sorry so basically three wires from your camera plus minus and uh, video in, uh, video out and then we've got uh, VBAT which is going to positive plus wire red one actually and then we've got white wire for your audio so as you can tell everything is uh, connected I just need to put it back together but it's good enough to be bench tested yeah so I've got actually I've got uh, my uh, huge 3S battery over here my multi-star which is pretty empty but it's good enough to bench test this tiny quad well, let's turn it on okay we've got power there's no smoke so everything is all right and I've got my Ishii monitor over here can turn it on yeah we've got Runcam Runcam video video out yeah success so as you can tell everything working good and that's it boys thanks for watching next time I'll try to do a video about OSD in Roncom Swift how to change settings on it and change uh, how to change position because you can move it around you can move this uh, every section you can move it around screen so I'll try to do a video about this and uh, yeah thanks for watching and thumbs up that's how to connect your Runcom Swift 2 to your wizard x20 thanks for watching